Hi Libras, this is you versus them for the 31st through November 8th. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, uh, just let me know by going to the website and selecting a reading and purchasing it. Okay, just make sure you put your details in there so I can receive all of the information necessary. Alright guys, <clears throat> using two decks of course, if you can remember. Haven't done this in a while, the you versus them, but using the Spellcasters Tarot for you guys and the Steampunk Tarot for the other person. All right, let's see. How did Libra feel about this relationship? How did Libra feel about this relationship or connection with this person? How did they feel about this connection? Huh. For some of you, you felt like this relationship was strictly sexual. Hmm. Attracted to this person, but um, there's something about it that uh, you just did not take seriously. I feel Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. How did the other person feel about the connection? How did they feel about the connection? Seven of Cups. Not sure. You guys are looking like you were on the same page as far as how you actually view the connection between the two of you. Um, hmm. This person was not sure as well. What's currently happening with Libra? This is Scorpio energy here with the Seven of Cups. What's currently happening with Libras? Oh, okay. Wheel of Fortune there. A lot of changes going on with you guys. Hmm. Pisces, Sagittarius energy. There's something that's shifting in you. Um, I do feel like some of you guys are actually, if you're not with this person, then either way, whether you're with them or not, I feel like you guys are falling for this person. It's, it's getting deeper for you. You see success with this individual in some way. <clears throat> What's currently going on for the other person? Currently going on for the other person. The moon. There's a lot of um, fogginess with the person that you guys are dealing with. This is Cancer, uh, Scorpio energy. This person's very unclear, very unsure about what they want. They're up and down, um, having mood swings, phasing in and out of being happy and being in love and then not being sure about the relationship. There's a lot that is unclear to this person right now about you guys, I feel, and about life in general. Um, there may be some sort of depression here, um, confusion, illusion with this person, but you guys are going through some changes and I'm not sure whether they are um, feeling like good changes to you or bad changes to you because the will of fortune is not necessarily something that is like good. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is like just changes in general. Every action has a reaction. And so the Wheel of Fortune spins out karma. So, you know, let's let's dive a little deeper and see what's going on here with you guys, okay? What's influencing the situation with Libra currently? What's influencing this situation? <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Um, I think for a lot of you guys, you found comfort in being single, so you thought, but now I'm getting that a lot of you are second guessing. I feel like you haven't really allowed yourselves to really fall deeply for an individual here. But I feel like the tide is changing for you. I feel like you're, you, you know, you're at this point where um, if you guys are not with this person, I, I feel you wanting to be with this person. If you're with this person, 
you're feeling like this is strictly a sexual relationship and maybe you're better off like separating yourselves so you can find that person that you truly want to be with virgo energy here so how you're feeling right now as far as like whether you want to be single or be coupled has a lot to do with these changes that are going on right now you're like on the fence but there's something there's something exterior to you this energy that that's kind of pushing you to kind of reevaluate your situation and determine what it is that you really want to do what's going to make you happy legitimately okay what's influencing the other person what's influencing the other person justice here you you it's like this person's waiting on you to decide what it is that you want to do with them what does libra want to do because i feel like you know whatever they're allowing you to basically decide what it is that they they will do from here forward is dependent upon your actions what it is that you want to do okay and we definitely know that justice and the will of fortune they go hand in hand the will of fortune is a number 10 justice is a number 11 so whatever you decide to do here, this is how it's going to play out in your life. So if you decide to separate from this person, you're not doing anything that you feel like you is trying to hurt them. You're doing what you feel like is necessary for you, is best for you. But also what's best for them because if you don't see them as a, a husband or a, a wife potential and that's what you're looking for, then the best thing you feel to do is maybe to cut them loose, you know, and cut yourself loose to give both of you an opportunity to find what it is that you're looking for here. So they're basically waiting on you to decide their fate. And this is why they're so like, you know, not really knowing what's going on and feeling uncomfortable, not knowing where they go from here, not knowing where they stand with you guys. That's what I'm getting. Okay. What's coming in for Libra? What's coming in for Libra? Five of Wands. Conflict. I feel like this is your own conflict here because you don't want to do the wrong thing. Leo energy. Definitely don't want to do the wrong thing. I, I feel like there is going to be um, a disagreement also between you and this person. I feel, I feel you're struggling because you want to definitely make the right decision. You want to do what's best for you and for them. You guys want to be happy. You want to be happy. The five of wands I, I, I'm getting is what you're actually trying to avoid. And that's like having confrontation with this person. Um, having your life in an upheaval. You just want to be like at this four of wands energy where you're happy and you're content in your relationship and your home. And um, I'm getting that, you know, you're, you're kind of stirred up right now. And you don't want to hurt anybody. <clears throat> What's coming in for the other person? I'm here. Three of Cups. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you guys are basically, you know, severing ties. Um, What's coming in for this person is basically seeking the comfort from their friends and family members. Uh, just trying to get out and have a good time enjoy life again cancer energy is here cancer leo i feel is very much present in your reading um also virgo pisces sagittarius energy but um i feel like they're they're gonna get to a point once you do decide that you know enough is enough and and you're not trying to like drag the situation on any further or any longer 
this person will seek help and assistance um, from family members and friends to try to get them through whatever you know they're feeling here because I do get some hurt feelings here I, I get some mood swings I get you know this person's emotional with these cups here okay what is the outcome here for Libra what's the outcome for Libras Ten of Wands. You go from the five to the Ten of Wands, and um, I mean it's going to be something difficult for you. This is definitely going to weigh on you for a while, but um, I, I do get that you'll be okay. You'll be okay, but this is going to weigh on you for a minute because you're doubling the energy here with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Um, I'm, I'm definitely getting that you just do not want to hurt this person so you guys are dragging this out but you're not trying to drag it out too long because I, I'm getting that you guys are ready to put this to bed for a lot of you okay that Sagittarius energy I feel like you're ready to like move forward move on from this what's the outcome here for the other person what's the outcome here for the other person Keep in mind this energy can go vice versa too, guys, okay? We have the King of Swords here. And I feel like this is this person growing kind of cold. Um, and, and this is just to shield themselves, I feel like, from, from this hurt. I do feel too that, you know, if you guys decide to separate from this person, which I see a lot of you are, and remain separated if you're already... Um, broken up with this person or divorced from this person i see you stay that way and i feel like this person goes through some changes here uh with this king of swords energy they start functioning more uh out of a defense mechanism here they're showing their vulnerability and their hurt and their pain here and it's probably reflected in their face but here with the king of swords they've turned all that that hurt and pain into a kind of coldness and aloofness and and like this non-caring stance so i definitely see a change in this person um and, and you guys probably will too okay so that's what i have for you guys and um, i'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now